Welcome to part two of the Herb Motivate show. And uh, this is 100 Days of Real Motivation. This is episode 19, right? And um, uh, welcome to part two of Everybody is a Star. So let me get into this. You know, um, in anything in life, it takes uh, collaboration. It takes a team, you know, um, for you to be able to do unprecedented, unprecedented things, right? So, um, in life, you can go fast by yourself. So, uh, with this present uh, series, I'm going very fast. <laughs> like, uh, every day I've been able to put something out. But let me explain to you the background behind that with 100 Days of Real Motivation. A, I'm doing all of the writing. B, I'm doing um, the speaking. C, I'm doing the producing. D, I'm doing the directing. All right, I'm doing the photography, videography. And I'm also doing the post editing and I'm also doing the soundtrack. I'm also doing the clothing, right? Costume design, as they would call it. Um, and soundtrack, as I just said. So, and promotions and uh, uh, marketing and social media on all platforms. We're talking LinkedIn. We're talking IG, Instagram. We're talking Facebook. We're talking several different pages on Facebook, okay? This is a major production that's being done right now because I realize that the world needs motivation in this moment in time. But more, what, what, what has accelerated, or should I say, what has um, uh, multiplied my efforts has been the fact that we are dealing with some social issues that I've been going through all my life. Who would have thunk <laughs> that during my process of starting to do my motivation of a book that I wrote seven years ago, that I would amalgamate all of my talents, skills, and abilities. Everybody is a star. So what I want you to understand is you have a place in this struggle. You have a place to be able to speak out. Stop being silent, man. This is, It's hurtful for, for me not to hear from the voices of individuals who have a voice, you know? And, and it, I'm not the only one. It's so funny. Don Lemon um, had some interesting things to say um, about Drake, um, Oprah Winfrey, and what have you. You know, at first I was very, you know, disappointed about Mike. You know, you know my thing. I believe Michael Jordan is one of the best players ever been ever alive. He changed the game. Um, but I want to thank Michael Jordan. I want to thank MJ for coming out and having uh, something to say with regards to the, the murder of, of George, George Floyd. Um, you know, listen, y'all. The Pope came out and said that George Floyd's death was uh, egregious. Not only was it egregious, he said, we need to end the sin of racism. You heard that? Listen, the Paris has gone crazy. London has gone crazy. In every state in the United States of America, there's been protests. And let me explain something to you because there's been some people who have I got kind of I think listen, we have the right to protest under the Constitution. There are protesters and then there's our agitators who are what? Looting. Okay? So Let's not get it twisted. You know, the, uh, most of those agitators in those local areas are not even from those areas. So where are they from? We have to understand that they are outsiders who want to make the protest look bad. Let's get back to our main event, though. Everybody is a star. Everybody is a star. 
No matter who I met in life, who were you know stars and what have you, what I found out about them is that they're human. They're just human, just like you and me. But we get so caught up. This pisses me off. We pay multi millions of dollars. This is what's causing problems in our society, right? We pay multi millions of dollars to people who play sports, but yet our teachers are left out of that equation? That's not good math, ladies and gentlemen. That's ridiculous. Teachers need to be paid six figures. For the work that they're doing is to change the minds of our young people. I was dissatisfied with the level of education that I received. I had to go to the library and seek it for myself. Listen, I'm not trying to be pretty today. I'm just, I'm just trying to be in a position where you understand that I'm not playing games right now. So, hold on one second. You know, I'm sweating a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't have Tracy Moss yet. Tracy Moss, shout out to Tracy Moss. <laughs> she is the um, artist for the stars, and she, we went to high school together, and um, I'm going to interview her at one point. You know? Listen, I said this is Irv Motivates show, not Irv Motivates speaks or Irv Motivates just talks. No, I'm going to, this is going to it'd be a show that is going to showcase people's lifestyles and talents and abilities. Uh, we're going to talk about things that matter. You know, you watch the news. I don't even watch TV. I don't even watch the TV this iteration, whatever's going on. I don't know. Most of the stuff it might may or may not find out via social media. Why? Because it's programming, you know. I want it to be in what you call a, a zone for you guys. I really did. And for myself. I want it to be in a place and position where everything's coming from just inspiration. Everything I'm saying. Now, do I watch some, you know, things that may be online? Yes, I do. Just to stay informed. But for the most part, everything that I'm doing right now is raw, uncut. So, let me share this with you. This is part two. There must be a part three, right? There must be a part three. Your thoughts may limit you. Most of you guys are limited by your own thoughts. Not nobody else. Your own thoughts. I was there. I understand. Now, I'm not there. Irvin was there. Now, he's disappeared. <laughs> We're no limit soldiers. I thought I told you. You know what I'm saying? Our dreams, our goals, our visions, they're possible. They're possible. I want to tell you a story. It's uh, actually not my story, but it's a story by Paul Bunyan and it's about the Pilgrim's Progress. It's going to be very relevant to, 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 to what it is most of you are going through. So I'm going to try to take my time and summarize it. Okay? I'm going to try to summarize it for you. You know I'm serious when I'm drinking coffee. I don't, I don't, I like tea. <laughs> when I'm drinking coffee, it's a serious moment. So, let's start off. The main protagonist of this story is the pilgrim. And, and the pilgrim wants and needs to go from, uh, travel from the, cel the celestial city. The evangelist points him in the direction and he leaves his family. All of this is, you know, allegory, metaphor for you. So you're born alone and, and, and most likely you're going to die alone, right? But along the way in life, in every chapter, you're going to find somebody. Some people in life are, are there for a reason. Other people are there for a season, right? You're the writer of your life. You're the writer of the book of your life, right? You're the main protagonist. You're the star. Everybody is a star of their own book of their own life. You're the director. You're the producer. You're the main actor. You get to choose who's going to stay in your chapter, who's going to stay in your book or not. Don't let anyone or anything slow you down on your journey to your success. In this case, we have the pilgrim. And the pilgrim is on his way to Celestial City. The evangelist points him in the direction 
And on his way, he falls down in the slow of despond. He's dragged down by burden and, and saved by a man called help. What, I, what I'm trying to tell you here, ladies and gentlemen, is that you really need to have this dogmatic determination that you will decide that whatever comes in your way, despondency, depression, distress, discouragement, huh? The discombobulation, that you're going to continue to succeed despite all odds. Everybody is a star. You're a star. And we need you to actualize and manifest your stardom. We need you. We don't need you on the sidelines just looking at me. <laughs> I know it's a nice sight, but that's not what I want you to do. I'm not here for my own self-aggrandizement. I am not here just so you can know my name. I don't even want to know your name or my name if you really want to ask me. Huh? It's fame and fortune. I don't need the fame. Just give me the fortune. But I know that I must do this work because the fortune comes with me dropping the jewels and giving it to you. Me letting you know what the blueprint is. Me offering you an opportunity to know. I've given that already for free. The first four, five, six episodes. I gave it to you for free. It's what other people who have made millions of dollars have used. I am on my path towards that a uh, 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 reality. I chose not because not because I didn't know what what the blueprint was. It's because I wanted to know whether or not I needed to change it or not. I I, I, I am not a, just about being a, a a baller shot caller. I want to be an owner and influencer and a coach, right? I want to create a thousand other individuals that will be on my level if not better that is my goal because everybody is a star do you understand me now this is not just about me I'm going through all of this iteration all this hard work because I want us all to be better I want us all to be at the table it's not just about me and once we recognize that, it's not just about you. Oh my goodness, the world will be a better place. So we're, 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 we're pilgrim, right? Saved by a man called Help, and then he meets worldly wise men. He goes to the village of morality. He seeks out Mr. Legality and his son's civility. He stops again. The evangelist comes again. Revives him again. And he back to the wicked gate. The gatekeeper, Goodwill, sends him to the house of the interpreter. This is life, guys. This is the journey, right? Huh? My mom used to have a, a bumper sticker back in the day when bumper stickers were, were the thing. And a 740 Volvo with the tan leather seats, you know. A, 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 a immigrant who's, who's, who's balling just a little bit because she works hard, right? She works hard. She's working nights now, you know. Overnight, she's working uh, for the pool shift, right? Where she doesn't have uh, 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 insurance or et cetera. But she's making those dollars because of it and working late night shift for her family. It's a sacrifice, right? She used to have this bumper sticker that said, you know, I'm just a pilgrim. Earth is not my home. <laughs> This reminds me of Pilgrim and the Pilgrim's Progress by Paul Bunyan. Okay? He then goes into the hill of difficulty. Goes into the palace beautiful and meets the damsel discretion, prudence, uh, 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 pretty, and charity. He realizes his friend from his hometown, faithful, is ahead of him. Then he goes through the valley of humiliation. Listen, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't even want to finish that. This is what I'm going to finish with. Guys, life is not rosy posy. Life is difficult, you know. It has its moments. It's like a roller coaster. It goes up 
and it comes on down. Everybody is a star. You are like one of the constellations in the sky that lights up the way. But I need for you to light up. I need for you not to hide your light under a bushel. No, let your light shine. We need to. This is our time to make a big change, to make a shift of awareness, to make a shift up, to shift our gears. Shift happens, and it's happening right now. This is our time to come together to make this run. There's never been a time like this on the face of the I mean, earth where we've been able to recognize the ills and the evil that exists. And for us to make a difference, listen, I got to close out. This is episode 19, Herb Motivates, 100 Days of Real Motivation. Please subscribe. Most importantly, share this. Share it. Touch somebody else's life. Make them be inspired and motivated by what I'm saying. So listen, I never want you to remain in a position or a place where you are acclimated to being B-rated instead of celebrated huh, and appreciated not just merely tolerated. This is Irv Motivates. I be the motivational attorney. Let me say that again. I'm just slurring words. I be the motivational attorney. Irvin Daphne is your civil rights attorney. We fighting. And just to let you know, if there are any protesters in the state of Florida who have been arrested, the law office of Irvin Daphne will be representing you for free. So reach out to us, subscribe to Herb Motivates on YouTube, um, link us up on www.urbandaphnis.com. You can also follow us on IG, Instagram, Herb Motivates. We love you, we appreciate you, God bless you, and God bless America.